Hello learners. We are looking at the equipment used on a trolley. What are they? The equipment that you will find in the trolley. You will find that in that trolley, we have the filler lamp, we have a gas stove, and we also have a shaving dish. We also have a sauté pan and carving board. Those are the necessary equipment that you might find in a trolley. So we start explaining what is a flare lamp. This is equipment operated, uh, operated on a methylated spirit and has a reservoir for fuel, a wick with an adjustment knob, a chimney and a grid. The reservoir should be filled with methylated spirit to the, le to the correct level and the wick should be trimmed regularly to prevent the fumes emerging and spoiling the aroma of the food. The lamp is used for, we use it for three main purposes. The first one is food preparation and also we use it for carving and we use it for flambeing. Gas stove. Uh, with a gas stove, there is, need, there is no need for you to do trimming of the wicks and the filling up the reservoir. It is not necessary. The gas burner is lowered in the level of the trolley top and the gas cylinder or bottle is placed under the gas burner in a chamber and connected to the stove. The gas control knob is conveniently placed for the waiter to control the flame. The burner head should be cleaned frequently with a pin to ensure free flow and should be free from soot. It is incorporated, where do you use it? During the carving and also during preparing and also flambeing service. We have the shaving dish. Under the shaving dish, this is a container holding hot water on which food container is kept to retain the temperature of the food. It is used to cook custard for certain sweet preparation. Shaving dish with safety valve or steam outlet is used in carving trolley. A carving board is placed over the hot water container and the meat is carved. So tape pan. This is a sauté pan with a thick bottom and a lid. It is used for flamping and also for cooking, carving board. This is used for carving of meat and poultry and for each category, a separate carving board should be used and cleaned thoroughly after use. Maintain high standards of IT. We have maintenance of trolley equipment. How do you maintain this equipment? This equipment are necessary. So to prolong their lifespan, you need to maintain them. One, clean all parts of the lamps regularly. After cleaning, reconstruct the parts and check the lamp for working condition, such that you are not going to embarrass yourself before the guest. Look at the working condition of that lamp. Never replace the bottle near a naked flame. Why? Because if you are going to replace it near a naked flame, definitely the fire, it, the fire, it will catch fire and for you can go you can end up burning the whole unit check the gas bottle for leaks number the next number check the length of wick and make sure it is trimmed regularly do not check the spirit level in the tank of the lamp near a naked flame avoid overfilling the lamp wipe up immediately any spirits which may have been spilled while filling the reservoirs and also avoid overfilling the lamp because you'll be moving from one side to another. So if it is overfilled, there is likelihood of spillages occurring. Uh, another one, only trained staff should, should handle it. Another one, clean pans, shaving dishes and other equipment used on trolley should be well, should be cleaned well and every day and made presentable each day. Clean cutting Carving cheese boards uh, well after the service. You ensure that you clean them thoroughly. There is safety in Guaridon cooking. Adequate precaution should be taken for safe operation. Check the lamp or burner for fuel, a leak and loose fittings. Number two, always keep the extinguisher within reach and every staff must know how to operate the extinguisher. Another one, do not position the trolley too close to the guest table to ensure guest safety. Number next number, leave a minimum of two feet space between the trolley and the guest table for the waiter 
to attend to the table without wheeling on the trolley. And number next number, when flamping a dish, do not bend your head or shoulder. Why? Because if you are going to bend your head or shoulder, you are likely to get burned. While carving a sure, the steam outlet is positioned away from the guests. There is preparation for guaridon service. How do you prepare? To carry out the preparation efficiently, it is necessary to ensure all ingredients and equipment are kept ready for preparation. Such that you, you are fine but tracking, you are moving from one place to another, you look like you are not organized. So you need to be organized. The missing plus for the guaridon service include one, equipment should be put on the trolley. Number two, ingredients for the preparation also should be put on the trolley. Number three, plates or bowls in which the dish is, proportion, is portioned for the guests should also be in the trolley. NB, culturally, for the dish is laid at the table before the preparation. You don't, uh, you don't go with your trolley, then you start preparing the table. You do it in the early time. Cultural may include, the cultural that you might like or find there is serving spoon and forks, which are the joint forks, sweet for spoons and the forks, soup, tea and coffee spoons, special equipment, joints and side knives, we have the fish knives and forks. If what plates or food warmers are used, then the, then these have placed on the left hand side on the top of the guarido. The eaters may be gas, electric or methylated spirits. Uh, in our next lesson, we'll look at the carving, jointing and plating.